the book of Joshua, chapter 5. And it came to pass, when all the king of the Amorites, which were on the side of the Jordan westward, and all the king of the Canaanites, which were by the sea, heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of Jordan from before the children of Israel, until were passed over, that their heart melted, neither was their spirit in them any more because of the children of Israel. At that time the Lord said unto Joshua, Make thee sharp knives, and circumcise again the children of Israel the second time. And Joshua made him sharp knives, and circumcised the children of Israel at the hill of the foreskins. And this is the cause why Joshua did circumcise. All the people that came out of Egypt that were males, even all the men of war, died in the wilderness by the way, after they came out of Egypt. Now all the people that came out were circumcised. But all the people that were born in the wilderness, by the way, as they came forth out of Egypt, them they had not circumcised. For the children of Israel walked forty years in the wilderness, till all the people that were men of war, which came out of Egypt, were consumed, because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord, unto whom the Lord swore that he would not show them the land, which the Lord swore unto their fathers that he would give us, a land that flowed with milk and honey. And their children, whom he raised up in their stead, them Joshua circumcised, for they were uncircumcised, because they had not circumcised them by the way. And it came to pass, when they had done circumcising all the people, that they abode in their places in the camp, till they were whole. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day have I rolled away the reproach of Egypt from all you. Wherefore the name of the place is called Gilgal unto this day. And the children of Israel encamped in Gilgal, and kept the Passover on the fourteenth day of the month at evening in plains of Jericho. And they did eat of the old corn and land on the morrow after the Passover, unleavened cakes and parched corn in the selfsame day. And the manna ceased on the morrow after they had eaten the old corn from the land. Neither had the children of Israel manna any more, but they did eat the fruit of the land of Canaan that year. And it came to pass, when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said to him, Art thou for us or are for our adversaries? And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of the Lord I am now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him, what says my Lord unto his servant? And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place wherein thou stands is holy. And Joshua did so. Chapter 6 Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and mighty men of valor. And you shall compass the city, and men of war, and go around about the city once. Thou shalt do six days. And the seven priests shall bear the ark, seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day you shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, and all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. And Joshua the son of Nun called the priests, and said unto them, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the Ark of the Lord. And it came to pass, when Joshua had spoken unto the people, that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horns, passed on before the Lord, and blew the trumpets, and the Ark of the Covenant, and the Lord followed them. The Ark of the Covenant of the Lord followed them. And the armed men went before the priests that blew with the trumpets, and the reward came after the Ark, the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. And Joshua had commanded the people, saying, you shall not shout, nor make any noise with your voice, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth until the day I bid you to shout, then shall you shout. 
So the ark of the Lord compassed the city, going about at once. And they came unto the camp and lodged in the camp. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord. And the seven priests, bearing seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord, went out continually and blew with the trumpets. And the armed men went before them. But the reward came after the ark of the Lord, and the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. And on the second day they compassed the city once, and returned into the camp. So they did six days. And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about in dawning of the day, and compassed the city after the same manner seven times. Only on that day they compassed the city seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time, when the priests blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord has given you this city, and the city shall be accursed, even it and all that are therein, to the Lord. Only Rahab and Harlot shall live, she and all that are within her in the house, because she did hide the messengers that we sent. And you, in any wise, keep yourselves from the accursed thing, lest you make yourselves accursed, when you take of the accursed thing and make the camp of Israel accursed, and trouble it. But all the silver and gold vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto the Lord. They shall come into the treasury of the Lord. So the people shouted when the priests blew with the trumpets, and it came to pass, when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. And they utterly destroyed all that was in the city, both man, woman, young and old, ox, sheep, donkey, with the edge of the sword. But Joshua had said unto the two men that had spied out the country, Go into the harlot's house, and bring out thence the woman, and all that she has, as you swore unto her. And the young men that were spies went in, and brought out Rahab and her father and all and her mother, and her brethren and all that she had, and they brought out all her kindred and left them without the camp of Israel. And they burnt the city with fire and all that was within, only the silver and the gold and the vessels of brass and iron they put in the treasury, the house of the Lord. And Joshua saved Rahab the harlot alive, and her father's household and all that she had, and she dwelt in Israel even unto this day, because she hid the messengers which Joshua sent to spy out Jericho. And Joshua adjourned them at the time, saying, Cursed be the man before the Lord that rises up and builds this city Jericho. He shall lay the foundation thereof in his firstborn, and in his youngest son shall he set up the gates of it. So the Lord was with Joshua, and his fame was noised throughout all the country. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.